Hi there everybody, welcome back to the channel. You're watching a Ritter Bit Will Do. And today, it's kind of a rarity because I'm loading the uh, tractor into the dump trailer with the backhoe on it. I don't think I've ever shown this before. So I've had a few people, how does everything fit on a five by 10 trailer? Well, you're gonna find out. So let's get started. So as you can see, it's really all about the angles. Now my driveway has a little bit of a slope to it. So I backed into my driveway, taking advantage of that natural slope and uh, blocked my tires with some blocking. So I would have a little bit more stability. And uh, I even raised the dump trailer a little bit. Now you didn't really get a good look over here what I did, but um, do you see this old tire? I use this tire just to rest the bucket on uh, so it doesn't scrape up anything. But when I had the dump trailer up, I actually stuck this tire in between there. So I had about four or five more inches of lift and uh, then the dump trailer couldn't uh, come down. So when I raised the dump trailer up a little bit, I was pulling that tire out of there and then moving the bucket and manipulating everything. And it gets to be a little bit complicated and it's kind of a pain in the butt. But if I had anything bigger, I would need a bigger truck. and. I just don't need a bigger truck yet, but I'd love to have one. Uh, I, I would like to have a 14 foot dump trailer. That would be great, but I would really need a three quarter ton truck to pull it with. So um, that's not gonna happen yet. It's just not in the cards. So anyway, you can see how tight it fits. Check out, <laughs> I, when people ask me, how does it fit in there? How much more room do you have? Well, I tell them it fits and I don't have an inch to spare. And I'm not kidding. It is literally butted right up against that. And as you can see, the bucket is hanging over and, and that's how I have it. And if you look up here, you can see I don't have a whole lot of room. So that's the way it is, guys. Um, yeah, it's, it's not ideal, but it fits perfect. So uh, like I said, bigger trailer, bigger truck. But I need a bigger yard. That's what's really holding up the whole show. We need about five to ten acres somewhere, and uh, that's just not going to happen for a while. Our neighborhood is too too full of kids, so we're not going to pull our kids out of the neighborhood. In fact, they're in a they're in a bounce house way down there right now, and they're all jumping and on the trampoline. And the kids just have a great time, so we're not moving yet. Um, but that day will come. Well, hi there, everybody. It is the next morning. Uh, last night I drove up here with the truck and the trailer and the tractor, 
and I am now at my mom's place and uh, I got a little bit of work to do. So I'm gonna take you in the backyard and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about, why I brought the tractor with the dump trailer. So come with me. So here we are in the backyard and as you can see, I got some giant sinkholes back here. Can you guess what happened? <laughs> Maybe you guessed it, maybe you didn't, but that's where an old septic tank used to sit. This house right here was built about 50 years ago. And at first it was hooked up to a septic tank, but about 40 years ago, the house got hooked up to city sewer. So the septic tank got used for about 10 years or so, and that's about it. So ever since, it's just sat empty. But what happened, there was a huge rainstorm the other day, uh, like six inches of rain, five to six inches of rain, and the entire house, all the way around it, had standing water. You know, the house sits up sits up enough to where it didn't affect the basement or anything. Um, but there was so much water, what I think happened is that any air that would have been in the septic tank kind of came up through the water, the standing water, and everything just kind of reversed. The water went down, the air came up, and it brought the dirt down with it. So uh, I'm gonna be fixing that. Uh, that's gonna be in a different video. Uh, but the rest of this video, I'm gonna unload that trailer, and I'm gonna show you how that's done. So. If you're interested to see how that works, um, stick around uh, if you want to see the holes get filled up because I'm going to be using the backhoe and pulling some of that uh, good sod out of there and setting that off to the side. I'm going to run out to the land to get some fill dirt, fill them up, and that'll be a fun little process. But uh, for the rest of this video, I'm going to unload the trailer. If you want to see the, the hole filling video, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, and you'll know when I post it. So, all right, stick around, everyone. Well, before I unload here, I wanted to show you uh, how I chain this down. I use a couple uh, quarter inch chains and I use quarter inch chains because they're just a lot easier to manipulate and use and and for what I'm hauling this tractor, they work just fine. Uh, use a couple um, ratchet binders and they are just excellent. I haven't had these too long. I've just used them a couple times, but really like them. Um, so yeah. That's how I tie it down. Uh, yeah, I just use two ratchet binders. Run one chain across and over, and that seems to work. So I run it right through here, this uh, little brush guard, and right here on this backhoe, and these are supposed to be tie down points, so that's what I use. I just run it under that one and back up, and then through that one. And then I've got these nice D-rings down here. So, they work pretty good.
Well, there you have it, you guys. Now you've seen me unload the tractor with the backhoe on, and you've seen me load the tractor with the backhoe on. Uh, that's how it goes. Hey, give me a like, please. It helps my video. It helps this. Uh, it helps my channel. It helps my channel grow. YouTube uh, pushes it out to a larger audience, and I would appreciate it if you just give me a like. But if you want to give me a comment, let me know what kind of truck I should get because the half ton Ford, the 99 half ton Ford, it just doesn't tow so well. Uh, it, it's the perfect size truck for me, but it's not the perfect size for towing a tractor. It's just, I need something a little bit bigger. So I'm looking at a three quarter ton, possibly maybe even a one ton if I find a good deal. So let me know what I should get. If you want to watch me fill in those holes with the, with the backhoe and the tractor and the dump trailer and all of that, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, and then and hit the notification bell and then you'll know when I post the next video. So, um, yep, remember to hit that like button. And until next time, keep on tractoring and God bless.